start by connecting coolant fan A cable to the oil cooler located on the hydraulic tank for the table. Next we connect this cable to the hydraulic pump motor A. And then we connect the electronic valve cable to the valve body on the hydraulic tank for the table. These three complete the connections for the table hydraulic tank. Now we move on to the connections for the grinding wheel hydraulic tank. This cable is going to be connected to hydraulic pump B and this one to coolant fan B. This is where we make our connection for hydraulic pump B and this is our connection for coolant fan B. Next we connect the coolant pump cable to the coolant pump. Now that we're done with the electronic connections, we connect the hydraulic hoses making sure we connect A to A, B to B, C to C, and D to D. Next hydraulic connection we do is going to be C2 to C2 on the grinding wheel hydraulic tank. We also need to make sure to connect the return oil drain C1 to C1 on the grinding wheel hydraulic tank. The incoming power is connected inside the electrical box into the breaker. The functions of these buttons on this electrical panel are as follows. Power indicator light, wrap it out, wrap it in, grinding wheel on, hydraulics on, grinding wheel off, auto or manual for the wrapping in and out feed, work table, automatic or off, coolant, automatic, off or on, work table, clockwise and counterclockwise. Here we have table off, table on, speed for the table, dwell time to the left and dwell time to the right. These three knobs are for lubrication. Lubrication for the grinding wheel, lubrication for the work table, and lubrication for the gears. This hand wheel is for manual movement of the table, and this hand wheel is for the movement of the grinding wheel. Here we have a jog button for the work table with speed control. Once we have our grinding wheel on and our hydraulics, we can move the grinding wheel in rapid depending on where our switch is, automatic or manual. During manual mode, press the out, wrap it out, wrap it in. In auto cycle, we use the hand wheel. Back, front. Also in automatic grinding mode, we can turn on our work table depending on the position of our switch, off or automatic. Automatic, we bring the table in, the work table starts. Go back, the work table turns off. To use the ID grinding head, we first release the lever, pull out, bring the head down, all the way down, secure it in the bottom, and we turn it on with the same button for the grinding wheel.